Day one for Army Recognition Group at Lima 2023. The defense exhibition takes place of the island of Langkawi in Malaysia. Lima 2023 is going to be the largest one yet with over 525 exhibitors. 140 companies from the defense industry, 101 companies will from the commercial sector, while the remainder 284 companies will be from both sectors. 80 countries have country pavilion, including Australia, but also China and UK and Turkey. Good morning to you. My name is Andrew Herod from a company called Irvine GQ. We're based in South Wales in the United Kingdom. We manufacture, our key manufacturing capability is parachutes. That led us into doing aerial delivery capability. And now currently we do aerial delivery capability for the UK MOD and other nations around the world. What does that do? That takes a parachute capability, an extraction, to put a platform out of a C-130, C-17, A-400 and deploy it land and maritime. We also do naval decoy systems, so for the, for the Type 21, Type 45 programs and for the Five Eyes we manufacture a corner reflector. So if an Exocet missile is targeted a frigate, the corner reflector has a powerful signal and that, that uh, missile will then target the corner reflector rather than a frigate. As I mentioned, we have um, the ATAX, ATAX Land and Marine. It's a multi-modular program whereby this is one platform. You can have up to four platforms, over 12 ton in capability. So depending on the requirement uh, from the uh, end user, depends on whether they go for single platform, double platforms, or, or four platforms connected together. So the great thing about the capability, it's rapid. It deploys, when it deploys out the plane, you, you can de-rig de it and the soldier, or marine, or air, for, or air force man can deploy quickly. And that's exactly the same with a marine capability. The platform is the same, using the same technology, but the differences are that it, it has a cradle, a bespoke cradle to meet the boat's needs. And they're the only differences. And you can also use the larger system, the Prybat, 24 foot system, that allows large boats to deploy from uh, C-130, C-17, and, and, and also of course the, the new A400. This is demonstrating the JLTV, the Oshkosh vehicle with our, our aerial delivery system. The great thing about this, the suspension on the JLTV allows it to come down so it fits onto the platform. Very simple in regard to the rigging and de-rigging, so it has a very quick extraction from it hitting the ground. The system here has an airbag system so it reduces down the actual compression when it hits the ground. Here we have the, the FDS-3, the, the naval decoy system. It's a corner reflector. As I explained a little earlier, the, the beauty of this is that the missile targets the corner reflector rather than the, the ship. That allows the safety of the naval uh, servicemen to, to carry on doing their mission and the target is hit and takes the naval decoy. And of course, as, as I explained, we provide the LLP, so the, the low-level low parachute and also the reserve uh, for the UK MOD and I have done for, for a number of years because that dates back to our Les Leroy Irvin and, and the, the initial capability. of. I, th I think one of the things that we're keen to do is, is to get the ATAX aerial delivery system to the ASEAN market. We know there's a need. We have the requirement and we're, we're engaged in wanting to engage with end users to show a different capability that has a lot of modularity that will, uh, they can develop for the future. First, welcome to Skyfan Booth in Lima Show. My name is Alex. 
I'm the marketing manager from the Skype end, and here you can see our product. And here is our anti drone jammer. And actually, we are not the single uh, provider for the single products. We are the whole system provider for the anti anti drone system. So we also have the anti drone jammer, which has a unique detection and the jamming feature in one feature. A very long detection range and the jamming range as far as three kilometers long. It's one of the smallest radar in the world for yes, the really detection small. range of one kilometer far. Yes, and we also have our C2 system. You can see here, it's a pad. It's a command and control system which, yeah. can, which collects all the data from the radar and the jammer gun to here. It's very intuitive. Yeah. So all the three products has integrated together our portable CUS system. This big, big one is our all-in-one anti-drone station. From here, it's a very uh, robust stand and the full radar array, which can detect uh, the drone from five meter, five kilometers far. And we have a PTD camera here to track the drones and uh, also we have we can put our drone gun on the top to jamming the drones and uh, this all station has our all combined together as our fixed sighted solution which is perfect for like airport like military base and all the energy station My name is Philip Janssen, I'm the marketing manager at HiEye and uh, we're producing the Airboxer. This is the Airboxer, it's an unmanned helicopter running on heavy fuel. Yeah, it has an ADCC engine, two-stroke. We're targeting the maritime domain, navies and coast guards worldwide. Also the commercial side uh, is also covered. For power line inspections you might consider the Airboxer as well, due to its uh, long endurance of hovering on one spot for longer periods of time. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 32 kilos, seven kilo of payload. This one here uh, is an EOIR gimbal, which you can use for ISR missions. Well, I hope that we will find a lot of uh, great end users, uh, that we raise a lot of awareness around our product, and uh, that we in general have good conversations.